Dr. Elmer, Advanced Neurospinal Solutions, and we're talking about autoimmunity. Now we're going to talk about what is it like? What is it like to have an autoimmune disorder? Well, to have an autoimmune disorder is like being sick all the time. Even when you don't have flare-ups, it's sucking energy from your system. If you think about being sick, when you're sick, do you, do you have a lot of energy or do you have almost no energy? <laughs> you know. Uh, you have almost no energy because the nervous system is is doing all its work to try to heal you to get you well and the immune system is sucking all kinds of energy we've already discussed how much energy is taken by the nervous system itself so you have no energy well imagine you have no energy that's autoimmune when you have a flare-up it gets even worse because now it's really going to town like you're sick, trying to trying to heal you, but it's trying to heal you of your own tissue. Now you're going to have usually uh, bouts where it gets worse, uh, and then it can be just I folded some laundry, which is common in fibromyalgia, uh, where I'm uh, I'm having a bout because of a hormonal event or stress or it's finals week or heat. Uh, heat is a big factor. I, I do a lot better in the winter. In the summer it's really bad. That's because the immune system causes a process that we call inflammation. Hear that? Inflammation. It causes a, a fire inside of you. It causes you know heat. And if you add heat to the heat you're adding fuel to the fire. And so the uh, autoimmune patients will note, I don't like to get in a jacuzzi, I don't like to take hot showers, I feel better when I take cold showers, I'm, I'm better in the, much better in the winter than I am in the summer. If I get n near heat and that, I'm trashed, I'm done. And that's why, that's why we use a lot of these questions even more so than lab work, because the lab work uh, by the time it says you have an autoimmune, you probably had it for 10 or 15 years because the well, lab work is so very insensitive. Well, so it's becoming more sensitive and we're finding more, more ways to track down the autoimmune, but it just depends on what kind of, of autoimmune. Is it a Th1 versus a Th2? Do we have actual antibodies that, that show what's going on? But in the autoimmune, uh, usually the person has been to many different doctors, feels like garbage, lots of lab work, lots of blood work, and it just is unexplainable. That's very often an autoimmune. And by the time patients get to my office, usually they're in pretty bad shape. Uh, about 80% of them have an autoimmune by the time they get into this office. And that's why we have a way to take care of it, because uh, we've had to deal with that for so long. So we have a way to stop the autoimmune, and we'll discuss that in the future. So hopefully that gives a clarity on what autoimmune is and what, it, what it's like to have an autoimmune. Uh, and if you have one, let us know. We'd love to, we'd love to talk to you and, and see if there's any way we can help you. And remember, this is Dr. Elmer, Advanced Neurospinal Solutions, and we're here when you're ready to take your life back.